my first speaker, uh, Dr. Rishi uh, Sharma, to give us a, basically a conceptual evo evolution of this from the time immemorial till the gold standard, which will be then uh, carried forward by Dr. Ikidalal and subsequently the rest speakers. Over to Rishi. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, we'll be discussing the uh, conceptual evolution in the primary and uh, recurrent uh, pterygium. A pterygium is a topic which has been discussed time memorial. So just coming to the uh, basic definition of pterygium, it's derived from the Greek word pterygios, which means wing, also known as surface eye of thalmoheliosis a Cinderella ocular disease, triangular wing-shaped degenerative fibrovascular uh, proliferative tissue from the conjunctiva onto the cornea. Next is the prevalence. It's most prevalent in the pterygium belt described by Cameron. That is 37 degrees north and south of the equator. Worldwide prevalence is 0.3 to 29% worldwide. In India, 9.5 to 13%, more so in rural area. Uh, coming to the pathogenesis, the initially the degenerative, it was supposed to be a degenerative condition. But now over a period of time, multiple theories have been based on cell proliferation, the hyperplasia, migration. The uh, most important is, of course, the UV-induced oxidative stress. Then the contribution of limbal and bone marrow stem cells. Uh, this is a di uh, diagrammatic representation of all the uh, various factors and the processes involved in the pathogenesis. Coming next to the classification, there are multiple classification systems, but generally the tan et al. Uh, grading system, which is based upon the visibility of the episcleral vessels and of course the morphology of the pterygium. That is the atrophic, that is T1 where the episcleral vessels are visible. Second is the intermediate one, partially obscured episcleral vessels and then the fleshy ones, that is T3. This is another clinical grading. Uh, two more uh, classifications, that is a Verma et al. Uh, classification on the size of the pterygium measured from the limbus. Second is Sijal Maheshwari, that is uh, based upon the point between the limbus and point and uh, the head of the pterygium location. Surgical interventions, any history of progression, the astigmatism causing poor vision, proximity to the visual axis, poor cosmosis, and recurrent inflammation and chances of malignant changes. Uh, the history of pterygium surgery first described in 1000 BC by Sushrut. Uh, the procedure was pterygium is sprinkled with salt. The patient looks laterally. The most superficial part of the pterygium clasped with a hook and then with a knife it is detached from the ocular surface and remnants are then eliminated and unguit applied to prevent the recurrence. Multiple modifications of this procedure over a period of time, that is a Celsius procedure who used a thread, Paul's operation, a choleria of pastes of honey, excrement of lizard, incense and antimony, hypocrites, zinc, copper, iron, bile, a divine stone also known as a lapis divinus, that is potassium nitrate, alum, blue vitriol. Coming next to the uh, further techniques, Mac Reynolds uh, transplantation technique that was in 1903. Panzardi uh, propagated the use of amniotic membrane grafts in 1947. Then came the Bayer sclera technique in 1948, which was popularized and started by D. Ombrain. Next, the combination of Bayer sclera technique with the radiation or chemotherapy in 1953. Kuno Mito and Mori uh, started with the mitomycin C in 1963, and Kionon started that conjunctival autograft in 1985. Further to it, blood fibrin autologous transplantation in 1993. Stalker gave a Z-plasty, followed by an alternative by Wilson and Bond. Then came the D-tan con uh, cultivated conjunctival transplantation and the perfect technique. Recurrent pterygium, the most uh, bugbear of the entire pterygium episode and the surgery, 90% uh, recurrences occur between the first and the third month. The clinical predictors, incomplete post-operative inflammation control, excessive suturing, incomplete removal, the morphological grade, the tanatol classification, the stage three, whether they're trophic, but the fleshiness of the pterygium obscures the episcleral vessels. That uh, is a high risk factor for the recurrence. Young people, double pterygia, multiple other causes like chronic blepharitis or dry eye disease. One classification regarding the uh, recurrent uh, pterygium grading, that is a Prabhat Swad, L, that is normal appearance, fine episcleral vessels, and the final is a true corneal recurrence. 
with a fibrovascular tissue invading the cornea. Medical management, no proven benefits except for some lubrication, or topical NACI, low T preds, decongestants. Uh, initially, bile, urine, many toxic agents like 5 fluoro uracil, mitomycin, C were tried, but of the no proven benefit. Surgical approaches, of course, the first is a bare sclera excision, followed by a conjunctival closure, a transplantation, antimitotic adjunctive therapies, that is mitomycin C radiotherapy, and the ocular surface transplantation techniques. Uh, these are the advantages and uh, drawbacks of the various techniques. Uh, bare sclera technique was basically become redundant because of uh, high recurrence rates, as high as 4 to 89 percent. Uh, adjunctive therapies, corticosteroids, thiotipase, cyclosporin, mitomycin C, and 5 fluorouracil anti wedges interferons, use of fibrin glue and autologous serum now for the attachment and uh, complete apposition of the pterygium graft, uh, the graft to the steel bed. Surgical technique, as I told you, base clear technique, recurrence of 24 to 89. With a post-operative topical cyclosporin, the uh, recurrence rate came down to 12 to 22 percent. The conjunctival or the conjunctival limbal autografting, recurrence rate 1 to 40. However, the post-operative topical cyclosporin use, 3.4 to 7.5 percent. Amniotic membrane transplantation still 2.6 to 42.3. Now coming to the treatment of recurrent pterygia. No option is impervious to failure. Repeated conjunctival autograft, amniotic membrane, MMC application, anti vegfs 5 fluorouracil conjunctival limbal autograft, which was uh, done by Del Campo Z in 2000. Then the complicated cases, we have the lamellar keratoplasty used in thin scarred corneas or a corneal opacity in the visual axis. A combined approach, a CAG with an amniotic membrane over the muscle to prevent fibrosis and restriction of movements. Then and now, a McRenal sterigium transplantation surgery, now the perfect surgery. Complications, most important of course, recurrence, the bugbear of pterygium. Interoperative, they can be excessive bleeding, an MR muscling, uh, muscle injury or a buttonholing of the graft. And the post-op, Delin persisted epithelial grafts, necrosis retraction. Uh, till date, multiple uh, pterygium surgeries have been evolved, they are being followed, yet the recurrence is still the main concern. So now I'll request the next speaker, Dr. Ikeda Lal, to continue.